Hello, namaste. It's Leanne Peters here. I'm from templeofbalance.com.au, Temple of Balance on Facebook and Temple of Balance on YouTube. And I'm here to share some guidance for this weekend. That's the uh, 30th of November, Saturday, and Sunday the 1st of December. So I trust you're well, I trust things are flowing well for you and you're having a good start to your weekend, if it's begun yet. Um, I'm coming to you live right now from Tasmania, Australia. It is Saturday the 30th of November here at exactly 5.56pm. So extra special welcome to my Temple of Balance patrons, my Pillar of Light family, and all of those of you who support my work through my website. Thank you so much for your support. If you're new to watching, welcome. What I'm going to be doing is using my combined, uh, my combined card decks here, and I'll be looking for the best card for uh, Saturday, the best card for Sunday, and then the best card for the theme for Saturday and Sunday. I'm not doing personal requests for guidance here today. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust that you've been led here for a reason, and I trust that something shared will be helpful and supportive for you. So remember, take on board what feels right, what resonates, what fits into your life, easily and let the rest go. So if it doesn't make sense, it doesn't matter. We can just think of this as a guide only, just a bit of fun. And if something stands out and supports you in some way or guides you, then that's a bonus. So let's see which card wants to come up for the majority of us for Saturday, the last day of November for this year. So what do we need to know about Saturday? And I'm looking for the best card that's the most helpful for the majority of us at this time. And I'm dropping cards as I go, which is okay. Sometimes the deck needs a bit of a reshuffle. Hi everyone, lovely to see you. Thanks for stopping by. So the best card for Saturday, the 30th of November, is this. It's an Animal Kingdom Oracle card, and it's... The Moth, card 14, the Emperor Moth, and it says to put things into order. So put things into order. So this is has a very strong paperwork feel. So if you've got a mountain of paperwork that you're wanting to do on Saturday, then Saturday's a very favourable and supportive day to address that paperwork and get the papers into order, if that's something that's been looming over you a bit at the moment. In general though, with paperwork aside, this could be a general feeling on Saturday of getting things into order, getting things organized um, into some type of plan perhaps, or some type of schedule with what we have to do, or what we've got coming up. So we might be finding Saturday a great day to plan in advance for something that's coming up too. And we're not planning for the end. And some of us may feel that, that actually shifts, is shifting some energy in the heart as I connect with that. Some of us may feel or have this underlying um, feeling, this strange sense um, that we're preparing for the end, but we're actually not. We're preparing for a new beginning. So let's l allow things to be tied up on Saturday, especially things that can help us create a bit more order going forward, especially if there's something that's coming up for us that we need to get organized with. So instead of leaving it to the last minute, we might find Saturday a really great day to um, plan, um, get prepared, tie things up, and especially it may be focused around our paperwork. So that's the Emperor Moth. There may be a little bit of a confronting energy around with this. It doesn't feel completely light and easy. You know, like dealing with a stack of paperwork is not an easy job, but something that's necessary. And that's probably another element of this energy too that I could talk about, is that what we're having to do, whether it's paperwork or something else, it might not be something we really want to do or we might not find much joy in doing it, but it's something that's more of a necessity and maybe for our own peace of mind going forward. So that's the Emperor Moth who says to put things into order on Saturday. So see how you go. 
with that. See if it resonates. So thank you. Now I'm looking for the best card for Sunday, the 1st of December. The 1st of the new month. It doesn't feel that long ago I was saying that as we went from October into November. It's been a whopper of a month this month. So, in fact, it's been a whopper of a year, hasn't it? So the best card I'm looking for now for Sunday, the 1st of December. And we'll see what wants to come up for Sunday. I'm not doing personal readings here. This is general guidance for everyone. So I trust you've been led here for a reason. It would, I would not like to sit here for hours and hours doing individual readings. That's definitely not something I like to spend my time doing. So if I can create a space like this that brings general guidance for everyone and maybe something that's sort of universal, then uh, that would be a better way to spend my time for sure. So the best card for Sunday, the 1st of December, is a Speed of Light Oracle card. It's this. Ah, it's the Lizard. It's a featured card. So it has further instructions up here which say to take the third, <laughs> I don't know which one was the third now, the top three cards dropped out. So I'm going to do something I don't usually do and we're going to look at all these three because I don't have no idea which one was number three. So I'm going to take it that we need to talk about all of these, which is not something I typically do, as you know, but we've got these three cards coming up with the Lizard. So we're going to look at these individually and then we'll see how they're all connected somehow. So let's see. You just see what speaks to you and what stands out for you in what's been said. So this is card three. It's the lizard. And it says optimism, appearances, delusion and illusion. This is very much about being careful we're not looking at, at things or people in our life, even ourselves or situations at face value or on the surface. So the lizard's reminding us to drop deeper into the surface now and look for the truth that's held within, um, you, you know, it's like reading in between the lines sort of thing. So not necessarily what we're seeing in the text that we're reading, but the lizard's about looking deeper at the what's going on beneath, in between the lines, what's happening under that bonnet of the car so if we're signing any paperwork or contract on Sunday, we might want to read the fine print. And this is not saying not to go ahead. This will be up to us, but there might be something that we need to be aware of, something that we need to bring attention to, maybe so we can get a discount or so that we've got clarity on something so we're, we're understanding what the contract's saying. There's that sort of energy around. So looking deeper than the surface. Dropping into the truth of the situation is what this card's about. And it can be confronting, especially if we've been avoiding the truth. So we've also got the um, floating card, card 12, and it says spontaneous. These are all speed of light as well, which is interesting. It says spontaneous calling, mental break and escape. So this card's very much about taking a mental break on Sunday. And this might be really important for some of us, especially with all of the stuff that's been going on and, and the intensity underneath the stuff. <laughs> so we've got stuff that's going on, but there's an intensity underneath and it makes the stuff that we're doing, whether it's um, obligations or things that we enjoy, it's bringing, um, it's making them a little bit more intense than normal. We're... It's not quite as easy in, in most regards at the moment. So Sunday might find it helpful for some of us to take a bit of a break. Um, and this is usually, when this card comes up, it's usually about stepping out of our environment. So whether it's our workplace or our home place and going away for a little bit. It might be for a walk somewhere in nature or for a drive in the country or go and visit um, a place or a person that we've been talking about wanting to visit. It may be going away for a short amount of time or maybe the whole day, maybe the start of a week's break, that sort of thing. So the point is, is that this card's highlighting the need to take a break and that stepping away from our environment may be important. The actual 
reason for this is so that we can get a new perspective on things that we've been dealing with or struggling with or feel pressured by or are mentally just um, exhausted by that step away will give us a new perspective so if we've been thinking about going out into nature for example someday may be a great time to make some time to do that so we can replenish our energy levels take that mental break and come back nice and refreshed so that's one of our cards uh, for someday the another one of the cards is indigo card uh, 18 and it says new children innocence fun magic and birth this is about new pathways opening up for us so these are opportunities we could think of or doorways that are preparing to reveal themselves to us, especially on Sunday. There's a new energy that comes in with this card and it says that there are multiple options. So there are options that we can consider on Sunday to maybe sit with, consider, reflect upon, feel upon and see which option or which path we want to take going forward. There's also a strong childlike energy with this card. And then the other one that's come up, the, these have all come up with the theme card. If you missed it, they all jumped out and I didn't know which one was number three, third from the top. So I've grabbed them all. Um, this is Tiger Claw card 40. <laughs> and it says, stand your ground, speak, take action and courage. So this has a strong assertive feeling to it where we may need to clear the air, stand our ground, speak up, that sort of thing. There's a strong action that's coming in with this assertive feeling. We might need to get our claws into some situation or help um, clear the air on something that's become a bit toxic or uncomfortable. So that's Tiger Claws message. Um, and I really don't actually feel that I want to join these up. I'm just going to trust that they've come up together for a reason, individually, and maybe there's one or two or some of that that's really stood out for you. But um, that hasn't happened before. It's happened today. It happens sometimes. So that's our guidance for Sunday, the 1st of December. So that's that. It seems like there's a lot of different directions we could take on Sunday if we just look at the way that the guidance came out for Sunday, we might wake up and we might have so many things that we're considering doing with our day that, um, you know, those options are probably going to, well, it depends what we feel and what we take action with will depend on which sort of path we walk down. That's sort of the potential feeling for Sunday. So see how you go. Okay, we'll see how that fits as we flow into Sunday. So now I'm looking for the best card for the theme. So the theme card will help bring these days together and help us see the bigger picture for Saturday and Sunday as we cross from one month to the, to the new month. So the best card for the theme is this. It's another speed of light. It's this. Ah, it's the tree maiden. Okay, this is good. I've already touched on this really, so this is just going to mean I'll talk a bit more about it. It's card 42, the tree maiden. She says, endings, surrender, growth and illumination. This is a potent card. It brings a potency. It brings an intensity, potential for Saturday and Sunday. Um, it makes or it brings forth the energy of things being louder and more amplified and more intense than they probably really are. And usually this is happening so that it's trying to get our attention. Maybe we didn't really pay attention to it before when it was a bit quieter. So the energy is getting a bit louder. The fear may be feeling bigger. The, um, the uh, pressure that we're under to tie up loose ends and to put things into order may, may be quite intense for us. So there is an intensity. This may even tip into overwhelm for some of us. So that will then be a time to look at, okay, maybe I need to take a mental break if it overwhelms um, sort of kicking in. So there isn't that intensity and potency. This is bringing with it endings. So it might be worth thinking about the things that are really blowing out of proportion at the moment, maybe highlighting something that we need to close or end in our life. 
there is growth promised in this card so it brings growth it brings um, um, like a healing that's coming from looking at this and this intense period um, but it is an intensity and intensities aren't comfortable to go through so there is a general feeling of uncomfortableness if you like as we go through the weekend if we can sort of um, make sure we stay nice and grounded and really present and super aware of what we're saying what we're thinking what we're doing and make sure that we're not running with this intensity by blowing things out of proportion even more than what they're presenting to us and there may be an opportunity for us to look at these things that we're dealing with that are intense to look at those more closely so by reflecting on them in our journal meditating on them maybe taking a break and step into nature where we can go for a walk and contemplate these things that are going on for us in our life and how we really feel about them and what needs to close now what do we need to make an ending uh, with in our life so this is a great opportunity these intense times are uncomfortable but they are a great opportunity for us to look at things that are loud right now so those loud things they bring with them intensity or maybe the intensity makes those things louder but there is a reason for it so instead of trying to run the other way or ignore it or defend it maybe look at this intensity head on heart on and see what it's trying to teach you what is it what's the opportunity within this intensity and what can you learn from it so there's great powerful energy potent energy which is moving us into a time of growth so let's have the courage to see what we need to see this weekend i trust this makes sense it feels very long-winded and i feel like i've been talking for ages so i hope and trust that something fits in for you thank you so much for connecting if you have enjoyed the video please hit the thumbs up button please show us some love please comment or share if you're inspired to and if you want to connect more privately please send us a message through our website so I have used the combined Animal Kingdom Oracle cards with my Speed of Light Oracle cards. If you want to learn more about these decks, please have a look on my website at templeofbalance.com.au. They've been self-published and are self-distributed, so you won't find them in shops. They're on my website, so please have a look if you want to. They're great to work with and very easy. Thank you so much for connecting. If you do want to learn more about me and the work that I do at Temple of Balance, please visit my website at templeofbalance.com.au. Have a great weekend and send you lots of love from my heart to yours. I will see you soon. Namaste.